Artists who made a big impact here and around the world will soon be remembered in a dramatic way. Jeff Hansen was known for his bold and colorful paintings. As KBC 9's Kelly Eckerman shows us, the larger than life tribute will be in his hometown of Overland Park. It was his vibrant colors, deeply textured acrylic on canvas, what many called happy art, that became his signature style. And captured the attention of art lovers everywhere. He is Jeff Hansen, and as much as fans loved his work, it was his spirit and attitude that made him unforgettable. Jeff was visually impaired. A genetic condition caused tumors that damaged his optic nerves. People would ask him, how, how can you paint that way, you know, be, with your low vision? He said, I think I paint that way because of my low vision. And he loved the heavy texture because I think he could feel the art as much as he could see it. While Jeff's work was collected by the rich and famous, his passion was donating his art to raise money for charity. He raised more than $7 million for various causes. At age 27, he passed away from a brain tumor. Jeff's world was filled with love, kindness, and generosity. He taught Hal and I how to be more loving and more kind and certainly more generous. The Arts and Recreation Foundation of Overland Park has established a foundation raising money to build a sculpture in memory of Jeff and inspired by his work. It will look like this, but more than 30 feet tall, giant stainless steel poppies the flower that dominated so many of Jeff's paintings. It will be installed at the Overland Park Arboretum. His parents want the sculpture to reflect not just Jeff's art, but his passion for helping others. It will be titled Growing Kindness. I think he'd really be proud of the community to embrace what he believed. Um, it, it's going to inspire others to be kind, and I think that's exactly what Jeff would want. Kelly Eckerman, KMBC 9 News. The foundation is working to raise $3 million for this massive sculpture. It's being created locally by Zayner Architecture. You can go to jeffhansenart.com.